Hello guys, what's up? The code Tolik is here. In this video, I'm going to show you top Visual Studio Code extensions for PHP development. Recently, I started a research trying to find out how good Visual Studio Code can be when working with PHP, and I found out these extensions to be very good. So I decided to share this with you. Okay, let's start. And the very first extension is PHP IntelliSense. So we need auto completion. We need to like detect method signature by the editor, go to definition and things like that. This extension gives us all these basic things what we need, like auto completion, method reading the method signature and so on. So I'm going to create right here. Let me collapse the left side. I'm going to create right here a DB variable, for example, which will be an instance of PDO new PDO and it auto completes the PDO class and all the PDO uh, starting classes. So we have PDO right here and let's call method prepare on this. It also detects that this prepare method returns PDO statement. And if I hit on this and uh, type parentheses, it detects also the arguments this prepare method accepts and with some description, which is very good. Let's check this on this class eVeb application class. This is a really large class. So this class has a couple of properties and methods. So let's try controller. Yeah, it finds this controller. It finds all the methods what we need. Also, it has a great feature to go to the definition of the class. So if I hit the control on my keyboard and mouse on this application. First of all, if I mouse over on this application, it gives me this text. What is this class about the description of the class, basically. And if I control hit the control and mouse, it opens the class declaration, which is absolutely necessary and very useful uh, in any in any project in any editor. So that's that's very good um, feature. Also, if I hit the control and mouse on this application, it finds all the usages. Right now it showed an error, structure applications. Oops, let's see it once again. Huh. Yeah, it finds this one. So it's, it's a little bit buggy, but it finds this one. On the right side, we see all the files where this eVeb application class is used. We can expand, just have a preview on this, or just double click and go to the usage where this application is used. So it's an excellent and necessary tool. Second one is PHP IntelliFence. So this IntelliFence is really similar to PHP IntelliSense. In fact, uh, most of the features are the same, but this IntelliFence is much more complex. It has also premium version. It has also support for uh, formatting of the code, some code folding and PHP doc uh, feature as well. So let's try, try this one, but I'm going to uninstall IntelliSense because they may conflict each other. So I'm going to reload my VS code. And let's have a look. Okay, so this is IntelliFence. So it has all the auto completion. So I'm not going to show this to you. But if I mouse over on the application, I see right here a much large description of the class. Okay, so this is a very good, uh, better than the IntelliSense has. Also, if I hit the control and click, it also opens the reference, but it doesn't navigate to the class first. It shows you the uh, the reference where how it is used, the definition basically. If I click on this class, then it navigates right there. The same thing happens if I want to find out all the references where this application is used. It's really similar. Also, great feature is to find the properties in the method in the application. That's an excellent feature. Just type Ctrl and P and right here we just type add symbol for example if we, if we just want to find the methods and properties in the current file for example default road or some bootstrap method okay so it navigates to the method area highlights the method which is an excellent uh, excellent feature if i want to find the properties and methods in the application not in the current file only i type hashtag right there and for example append timestamp and it finds that this property is available in this eVeb asset manager just highlight this one and it opens um, this property which is a cool tool this the searching the properties and the um, 
the uh, methods is also available in IntelliSense, but it's a limited uh, for me. It, it's it's not working as perfect as for PHP IntelliSense, and it has also code formatting features, as I mentioned. So if I unformat my code in the video controller and uh, I just right click on this and format document, you can also set it on your desired shortcut. Then it formats the document uh, as you want. Okay, that's a really good feature. Other features are available um, in the um, in the premium. So definitely check out these extensions. I will put the uh, uh, the links in the video description. Okay, next one is uh, PHP Formatter. So if you decided not to use IntelliSense but to use IntelliSense, probably you need uh, some kind of formatting. So PHP FMT is the very good choice so let's install this one it has a couple of options you can specify how we want it to be formatted whether to format on save and things like that and it also has uh, some more options you can check out uh, in the readme file of this uh, extension so the formatting basically is the is the same so we just unformat it just like this then right click and format document but we need to also choose what's the default formatter and that indicates on the uh, bottom uh, bottom right corner of the screen that it's php fmt at the moment okay next one is php namespace resolver let's install this extension php namespace resolver this one it, it has a lot of downloads uh, no not this one I'm sorry um, it has a lot of downloads a very good rating by the way so let's install this one and it's very necessary tool if you want to easily import some classes for example I have access control class used right here if I scroll up this is the use statement I'm gonna delete the use statement and right here if I mouse over and right click on this I can hit this import class or you can set your keyboard shortcut for example alt and enter I have this on alt and enter and then if I alt and enter then I see that the class was imported successfully that's it all about this extension it's very helpful also next one is PHP debug so PHP debug is an excellent extension if you uh, are using debugger in your PHP. Recently I made a video about uh, how to debug applications using Visual Studio Code and this extension with xdebug. So definitely check out this video um, and yeah, I'm not going to mention right here, but it's an excellent extension. Uh, I'm not going to show this to you right here, but the link of this extension will be in the description okay the next one is php setters and getters okay php getters and setters where it is it's right here so let's install this one that's uh, that's not perfect extension i would say but it's a very good if you want to generate getters and setters for your application for example i have a property name right here and i let's say that i want to generate getters and setters for this extension the cursor should be inside the uh inside the property name then Control and p and right here i type arrow this greater than and insert insert php getter and setter the, the bad thing is that it's um first of all it needs to reload your vs code when you install this or it gives this extension uh, this exception okay so let's just reload okay and then if i click inside the property Control p and insert php getter and setter this one creates getters and setters at the bottom of the file so the getters contain some documentation it's it's good it's not bad but putting this at the very bottom is not very good and if I have several properties like five properties and I want to generate getters and setters for all of them I have to repeat this step for each of them which is not very convenient so probably better would be if uh, I just choose I want to generate getters and setters uh, for which file for which properties excuse me and then it would put the getters and setters in the in the place where the cursor is at the moment but uh, anyway this is the best extension about generating getters and setters for vs code so here it is the next one is to generate constructor easily php constructor so let's install this extension just click install button right here i think i have already installed and then right here i'm going to type Control and p 
uh, arrow and then insert constructor property. This one creates a constructor with property with multiple cursors so that I can call the property whatever I want, age for example, and I have this uh, constructor with age property. If I want to create a second property, for example, personal ID, uh, it will not of course create new constructor, but it will add the constructor property in the uh, in the constructor in this yeah in the constructor method so let's just call it personal id okay just like this um i think i deleted something incorrectly so let's just do this once again insert constructor property personal id okay and here it is again this is not perfect extension for me because sometimes i already have uh, ext uh the the properties and I want to generate constructor for all of them. So I couldn't find a way to do this using this extension. The next one is PHP doc blocker. Okay, let's install this one. It's to easily generate the um, the docs, doc blocks of the method. Basically, it's what the name says. So if I go to the controller, for example, and I uh, hit the slash asterisk two times and hit the enter, it generates this documentation. And it also has possibility to specify the author of the method or author of the class. So it generates this for both class and methods. And basically, this can be changed from the settings of the extension. Okay, so we can go to the uh, extension settings. It's also written right here in this um, extension documentation down below what properties it has okay and down below we can find that in the in the settings we can specify the author to be whatever we want and on every method and on every class we can specify separately it generates this author okay next one is uh, php code sniffer php cs okay there are two extensions basically uh, PHP CS, they are identical. The second one, which has lower downloads, is basically a forked version of this, which has higher downloads. I couldn't find any difference, so I recommend this one, which has uh, much more downloads. So that's just called Sniffer, which uh, you can specify the, the like the biggest advantage of this is that you can specify the uh, formatting uh, formatting templates. Let's let's say like this. So. Yeah, formatting standard that WordPress, for example, and it will uh, run the code sniffing uh, like WordPress uh, WordPress would be. Okay, so that's the next one tool. You can also specify your own standard if you have for your in your organization, and that's an excellent excellent tool. Okay, next one is uh, PHP files. Let's search for this. It doesn't have much downloads. Uh, but it's uh, it can be sometimes very good extension. Um, it has also its disadvantages. Let's see what it is actually. So it gives you possibility to create um, interfaces, classes, or trays inside your application. So for example, if I go to this front end folder and I want to create like a new controller in the controllers, so right click and PHP new class. Okay. So and I can specify right here the class name. For example, main controller what it extends from so we need to specify the full what it extends from and then what it implements from and that's basically it but it doesn't detect the namespace uh, out of the box so for this we need to actually create these php files json in the project root directory and specify the what are the namespaces and that they are going to provide ability to retrieve namespaces from composer json but that's not done yet so it's not it's not like very useful for me but it might be useful for you if you uh, don't use namespaces and yeah i just decided to show this to you okay next one is php server so php server that can be useful if you don't want to uh, run the application um, on your Apache installation. So you can easily open your any file using uh, this PHP server. So let's go to the front end web index PHP, for example, which is the entry script of the application. And I just right click and serve project. And that creates, uh, that opens the project in this, um, yeah, just like this. So it works fine for me. 
Okay, the next one is um, MySQL. So if you are working with PHP, probably you need some kind of tool to work with MySQL and people are using uh, PHP MyAdmin. So let's, uh, let's search for MySQL. Okay, so there are two extensions basically which worth worth to check. One is this one, which has uh, a lot of downloads, but the second one I found it more useful for me. So I'm going to show this to you. You can check out the other one as well, but this one has uh, like auto completion in SQL file, uh, reading the tables and schemas, the columns as well, and it has also good editing interface, better than the other one. It's not perfect, but better than the other one. And it creates this MySQL tab right here on the left side with all the, uh, you need to basically connect to the MySQL. So you, you click this plus button, connect to MySQL and click this connect button and that's it. Then you have all the databases. So let's, let's choose one of the databases, this one for example, and I'm gonna create, uh, I'm gonna write an SQL right here. Select everything from video for example and run the query and it gives me all this output i'm going to move this down okay and close this it gives me all this output uh, of the select everything from video down below we see all the videos i have a possibility to copy edit and delete each record and i also have possibility to create new record using this model i'm going to open this right here to have a larger view and this is how it looks like so it has an interface really nice crud interface uh, to easily delete update or create records in in mysql but more importantly it has this auto completion features which is i think very necessary when working with mysql Okay, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section if you have any extensions like you are using on PHP, which I haven't mentioned. Uh, I would like to know this information. So again, thumbs up if you like, subscribe if you love it, and see you in the next time.